hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are continuing our laravel 8 rest api crud application and now guys this is the part 3 where we are going to do about how to update the data using put method or post method so guys let's get started so first let's move to our editor and create a route for it so guys let's begin with that so first create a route with the put method where product forward slash your id forward slash update so whatever we send over here and then call your product controller so product controller colon colon class and move to your function called update so let's copy this and create one function inside your product controller let's get back let's get below over here as simple guys let's create one public function update function and inside this update we are going to get the request so for that you need to call this request dollar request and we are getting the id also from here in your api route so this id passing over here done and now let's validate that first all the input feeds so let us copy from top itself whatever we are going to do we'll be doing in this so guys this is to validate if any fields are empty or null so that time it will return the error if not if everything is fine then move to your product model and search with the id so if any specific id is sent over your one or two or three it is sent then it will find that and keep inside this variable called product and then we are going to update with the same thing and just make a few change over here update okay update function through that we are going to update so guys what in case if the id is not sent like only three day records are there you are going to enter id number 10 so for that case let's give a false condition let's paste over here else copy this variable product and send inside this so if the product is found then you are going to update the data if it's not found then you are going to show the message as no product found okay and this will be your 404 error because something is not found means 404 only so let's save and now guys we will test it so make sure your project is started and yep guys so let's copy this url and go back to the postman and let's create one new request over here for updating the data let's paste over here and we are going to use put method okay so let's call this put so you let's see in the api we have given put okay so this put and your put should match and now guys we are doing api so api slash and then your path name so let's copy this and paste and let's remove this extra curly braces id and we are going to pass with id number one okay so first method we are going to see from the headers click on headers and add the accept that will be application slash json okay and then go to your body you can insert the data from this form tag also to update the data but we are going to use put method so for that we let's move on the raw so we will see first method over here so we will check in json format and now guys let's double quotes inside this and call your input fields name so these are my input fields name copy paste colon and your value so value here will give my name only i'm going to give with prakash give comma and then the description with descript copy and paste colon i am developer okay let me just make this little down and the third 
the price which we are going to see the input field price colon whatever price let's give 100 or 1000 and then final is QTY quantity which will be 10 and now guys let us update this so when you send the request that time it should update so before updating with this ID number one let us see our database so you can see that ID number one data is mobile and this is the description okay so guys now let's get back to our postman and let's send the request send perfect so product updated okay we didn't change the message let's change the message over here updated save get back let's send the request once again cool so product updated successfully and now guys let us go to our database and browse once again and see the output cool so you can see that with prakash name has come i am a developer so let's update this in second method okay so this was by the raw data and now guys let us use the same url and let us update the data in another method so let me just remove all this and we have to select this none now okay or else we cannot update with the second method so let's select with none and let's get back to the param okay and now let's add the fields so your name description describe price and quantity so these fields just add with this postman so now let's add the first name so same way you are going to fill out with this so guys i have just added with this and now let us update with new record okay so so as you can see with prakash i am a developer data is there right so let's change this now over here let's give send the request perfect we have got the correct response product updated successfully let me just change over here some extra id you can see no product found cool so now let's keep it one only as it was and let's browse this perfect so guys our data is updated using put method using postman so guys we have seen two type of updating the data one is by param and one is by raw data in your body and now guys we are going to update the third part by using form data okay so let's remove all these params we don't require now so let's just remove all this and get back to your body and click on form data and header should be except as application slash json so let's get back to our form data and over here you are going to change as post method so we are going to update but we'll be using post method okay let's get back to our route api.php so for reference let us keep like this only and comment it and let's uncomment below copy and paste and change this to post as simple there is no change just you have need to just need to make it post request let's get back and yep guys so call your input fields name bottle and description so let's copy that spelling description paste this is a bottle and then price 30 rupees and the quantity is QTY 60 and now let's update this so let's send the request send perfect so product updated successfully and now let us test guys once again browse perfect so you can see that bottle and this bottle so guys we have successfully completed with how to update the record in rest api in laravel 8 so guys now let us delete the record from our database so let's get back to our editor and let's go to our api.php and create a route so route colon colon i'm going to use delete method to delete the record just create a route called product forward slash then send the id inside this and what kind of data you are sending product of delete okay and call your controllers product 
controller colon colon class of destroy okay so let's copy this and create a function inside this product controller product controller public function destroy and as simple guys first let's create a variable called product is equal to then your model product model colon colon find function where you are going to find the id so what kind of id you are getting inside this you will get from here okay so this destroy function where id sent from your api route so this is your route for the delete okay and let's get back over here so once it's sent that time you need to check first if the id exists or not so if id is found inside this model then you will be insert this and create a product variable so not create just copy from here and use the delete function to delete the row so after deleting the row let's pass the method session so message over your product deleted successfully else you can tell same message you're going to paste product not found as simple guys so now let's save and get back to api dot php and let's call this path okay call this path get back let's request for a new request and use the method to delete and yep guys let's cop copy that path so before copying this copy the url paste api forward slash and then your this path copy and paste and instead of this id open curly brace just remove that and add three over here okay so this is three so before deleting that will let me add some unwanted i have added six now let's see in our database we have only total three records let's click to send no product found okay now let's id3 let's send the request let's see what happens product deleted successfully we have got the message and let's see in our database first browse cool so that third data is deleted guys so guys we have successfully completed with how to edit and update and then delete the data in laravel 8 rest api crowd application so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share